There's so much more to Indonesian food than gado gado or nasi goreng. Indonesia is an archipelago of more than 18,000 islands and today we are going to dive into the cuisine of one of these islands, North Sulawesi. In this video, our friend Alvin, who is an amazing cook from North Sulawesi, the capital city, yeah. yeah, it's called Manado, will take us through some delicious flavor combinations and fascinating cooking techniques. So, let's get straight into it. We'll start with pepes, which is a traditional technique of using banana leaves as a food wrapping. Made from tofu and mushrooms. Normally, we do pepes with fish and chicken. So it's actually not vegan or vegetarian. But this time I cooked the vegan version of this uh, pepes. We'll start by grinding some fresh turmeric and ginger. In India, we usually use powdered turmeric, but in most of Indonesia, fresh turmeric is preferred. Alvin says that it has a richer fragrance and the starches even add some creaminess to the dish. Next, we'll wilt some banana leaves over an open flame to soften them. These leaves will shape the filling when we steam it, so we'll set them aside for now and start working on the filling. We'll start by prepping and chopping the ingredients. To an oiled and heated pan, we'll add some garlic and chilies. The oyster mushrooms go in first, since it has a strong smell that we want to cook off. Then go the button mushrooms. We'll now add some salt to taste and the tomatoes. Then the aromatic ginger turmeric paste. Then in goes the crumbled tofu. Now we'll add a cornflour slurry to help bind the mixture together. Some more salt and pepper. Green onions, basil and lemongrass. Grated candle nuts. This is the first time we were trying candle nuts and they have such a unique and smoky flavour. Olsen says that it's really good for you too. We'll end by adding some freshly squeezed lime juice. Once the filling is ready, we'll spoon it into a banana leaf, like this, and then slowly fold the leaf to form a pocket. We'll then use a toothpick to keep them closed. We'll now start heating the water in our steamer setup while we pack in the rest of the filling. Once the pockets are ready, we'll steam them for about 15 minutes. You can plate it with some fresh basil and chilies and serve it with some steamed rice. So let's see what Vidhi thought of it. This looks so unique and interesting. So good. So there were so many fresh spice ingredients that went into this dish from lemongrass, garlic, turmeric, ginger, candle nuts which was so unique and finally steaming it in fresh banana leaves adds such a nice flavor and depth to this whole dish. It's really interesting. You guys should definitely try it out. And I loved it as well. There were so many layers of flavor. Next up is Koyabu, a simple and ingenious cake from North Sulawesi that's wrapped in pandan leaves and steamed to set. To prepare the mixture, you'll need fresh grated coconut and glutinous rice flour. It's one part of coconut and half part of rice flour. We'll add some salt as well because as Olfin so wisely says, savory dishes need a bit of sweetness and sweet things need a bit of salt. We'll also chop up some palm jaggery, which we will use as the filling. And that's that. The prep really is so simple. The next step is to cut and shape the pandan leaves into rectangles like this. And wash the leaves and dry them. We'll then fold a leaf to form a pocket. And add the mixture to the pocket.
Then we'll add the palm jaggery center and fill up the rest of the space with the coconut mixture. Pinch and fold and finally seal the pocket with a toothpick. I noticed as Olfin was folding and rolling that she was applying a little extra pressure to help shape the filling. Once the cakes are shaped and ready, we'll add them to the steamer. And it took about 15 minutes for the cakes to set. So, let's see what Vidhi had to say. Set so well. Mm. Coconut and the palm jaggery sugar flavor combination is really good. It has some in-depth flavor of pandan. Usually, Whenever we have eaten a pandan flavored thing, it's bright green in color and people are using it more for the color than the flavor. But here I feel it's such a subtle and nice way to use pandan and add the flavor. And I loved it too. The aromatic pandan leaves, the molten caramel like palm sugar center, the soft coconutty exterior. Simple things coming together to form a delicious sweet. We loved both the preparations. The koyabu might be the most minimalist cake I've ever had and it was still so flavorful and complex. The pepes had so many layers of flavor. When I told my mom about this recipe, she immediately thought of a Bengali dish which employs a very similar wrapping and steaming technique. Kolkata and Manado are 4,400 kilometers apart. But at some point, both these cultures figured out this unique cooking technique. With cooking, there is surprise and delight waiting for you at every corner. So uh, I love to share our traditional dish to you guys to try the recipe maybe. And you can, I hope you can enjoy this. We feel so lucky that Olfin shared some of these secrets from North Sulawesi. Because food is magic. And we hope that these secrets can help change your life.